Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I know why you guys are thinking, Whoa, Toki, you're actually narrating over your videos again after like how many weeks? Yeah, I know I haven't been talking over my videos because it's a pain, okay? I could give you guys a whole explanation to why I didn't narrate, but you guys aren't here for that. You guys are here to see me draw. On that topic, I'll probably be adding on a coloring video of the illustration in a future video. I was thinking that I could talk about the process of me coloring and all, but I would say that my coloring is still not the strongest. I'm still learning all about, you know, color theories, cool tones, warm tones, and all that nerdy illustration stuff. Anyway, today we'll be talking about my illustration over here. I'm drawing my character Rin from my manga Blade. You guys know how manga covers always have this... Uh, they always have a picture or an illustration of their main character in their cover page. Yeah, I'm hoping to draw this as the cover page for my manga. So typically when drawing, I always begin by drawing a rough sketch and I'll draw my line up after that once I'm done. The rough sketch is the lines you see in blue and I purposely left out the drawing process because it could take quite a long time. There are artists who can actually draw this rough sketch relatively quickly but unfortunately I'm not one of them. Maybe in a future video, once I'm fast enough, I'll probably make a video on that. Maybe I'll take that into consideration. For this illustration, something that I did was to use circles to indicate her boobs. Yeah. Which is something that I've always not done in the past because, you know, it's kind of embarrassing as a guy drawing. But I'll say that the embarrassment is her chest looks more feminine in this model. Now the other thing is her hands. One thing I'm glad about is that her jacket is covering her arms and wrists. Arms and wrists have always been a very weird thing to draw for me because in some drawing tutorials that uses rectangles and some others use ovals to represent them. I'm sure each of them has their own perks but to me it's still quite hard to understand how these shapes work anatomically for these models and yeah I think it's honestly alright to choose whichever whether to use ovals to represent the arms or rectangles to represent the hands you know as long as it can convey the body parts properly with the rough sketch out of the way i'm now placing the cleaner lines on top this will be the final lines visible for the viewers to see in my illustration today i'm drawing rin in a singlet and jeans with a jacket over her so when drawing her i keep in mind her character how does she talk how does she behave in the world that i drawn in in the manga as she is someone that trains in a sparring environment using wooden swords i went ahead and gave her a relatively tomboyish character for her in the manga as a moderate amount of violence is within that environment she has to be tough which is why i decided to give her a tomboyish character however i also want to keep an elegant aspect in her which is why i decided to draw her hair in such a way which is neatly combed into a small bun at the end in this illustration however i didn't capture her boyish nature with her facial expressions and chose to put the expression in her jacket instead her expressions in this illustration has more of a friendly and cheerful vibe to it probably this is how she expresses herself outside of training which is more serious in nature for a jacket i've drawn some simple metal rings at the bottom of the jacket which seems quite boyish in nature you want to look cool you know that kind of feel. I also give her several ear piercings. Obviously, they aren't allowed in physical activities such as sword training in the manga. I've drawn it here where she isn't training in that environment. Hair is one of those things that can be drawn simply, but it can also be drawn in detail. For the manga, it's not so important, but for an illustration, these small details can really help bring depth to the hair volume. Another way to add volume is to literally draw the hair further from the face. If you look over at the eyes, something that I've learned is to add double eyelids. For some reason, I've noticed that it's quite common for these details to be drawn. It's important to separate these eyelids from the eyebrows, however, as they are not the same thing. Clothing folds. Sometimes you just have to keep drawing them to get a better feel of how they work. Something that I've been doing more is to observe how clothing tends to fold in real life. 
is something that I recommend doing if you're having trouble drawing clothing folds. Anyways, that's enough of my rambles. I'll leave you guys to the time lapse. Enjoy!
Alright guys, if you have managed to watch the video all the way to this point, I just want to say thank you. If you guys want to check out my manga, the link to my Pixiv page is below in the description. Isn't much but it's enough to entertain you for a good few seconds. Once again, thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.